what about those who are fearful of their own success? Yeah. Like they're like, like they self-sabotage because yeah. they're fearful of what could be. Yeah. And they don't realize that they're even doing it. That's the sad thing. Mm. It, uh, self-sabotage comes in the form of excuses. You know, Brian, you don't understand. They got kids. No, I understand. Brian, you don't understand. I just got divorced. No, I understand. Brian, you understand. I just got let off. No, I understand. But every excuse you give me, I tell my clients, I put those excuses into reasons. Mm -hmm. Brian, I got kids. You don't understand. That's not your excuse. That's your reason you need to do what I'm telling you. Brian, I just got laid off. You don't understand. No, that's not your excuse. That's your reason. So what happens is people who self-sabotage don't even realize that subconsciously they're doing it because they're afraid of the success. And the reason they're afraid of the success is because society shows in our country loves individuals who rise and then fall. And they put more emphasis on the fall than they do the bounce back. Mm. So everybody hears that MC Hammer lost $30 million and how can you lose all that money when can't touch this? But nobody tells you that Hammer actually is the first person to put Twitter on the map. Nobody tells you that Hammer is a genius when it comes to marketing and social media. Nobody tells you that Hammer made millions of dollars for his consultations now. Mm -hmm. But everybody just know when he was had the diapers on, he was running back and forth <laughs> doing the tightwire. They want to, they, everybody look at the brother's fall, but they don't look at his bounce back. Everybody talk about Mike Tyson losing three hundred million dollars, but they don't tell you right now Mike Tyson owned ATM machines in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So society puts more of the fall in front of you because that's sexier than they do the bounce back. So no wonder subconsciously people don't want to rise too high because in our society, you the higher you are, the further you fall. Who made that up? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we do things, a lot of people do things so that they won't have to experience the unknown. I don't want to make money because I hear about Lauren Hill's tax problems. I hear about uh, uh, Ryan Osley's tax problems. It's, it's our culture. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. White folks don't go, I don't want to make no money because you heard what happened to Willie Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Nelson had tax problems too. I never heard that. Yeah, yeah. see, nobody knew that's just our culture. You know, man, you heard about what happened to Wesley Snipes? You heard about what happened to Lauren Hill? You heard about what happened to Ryan Osley? See, that's our culture. So we'd rather stay where we are in known hell than experience unknown heaven. <laughs>